Hey dolls! So I know it's been a really long time. Um, basically a month because the last video I uploaded was my March favourites and now I'm doing my April favourites so I have been really bad at filming. Um, I've been like basically trying to get my life back on track because I have so much work in and everything like that so that's probably why I have been so distant recently um, the same with my blog posts and things they started to come out last week um, or this week uh, so it's kind of trying to get back in the swing of things um, so today's video like I just said is going to be uh, my April favourites <laughs> um, and before I start as you can see I got my hair cut and it is dyed it's supposed to be purple but it does look slightly red um, but it's just basically darker but I got it cut shorter and it isn't too bad it's like a lob so a long bob um, but anyway I'll get straight into this video because I've got a fair amount to do so I'm gonna do beauty as I always do I always do beauty is my first thing and the first pr item product that I'm going to be talking about is Olaplex now I have seen this on YouTube, like I've seen people using it, I've heard reviews, I know salons use it and I thought I would try it out for myself because my hair is pretty kind of crap. Um, a lot of it has been taken off because it was so crap but there's still tiny bits in there. But this is Olapex 3, so this is the third stage, so this is the take home stuff, so basically you put a little bit in your hand after you've wet, wetted and towel dried your hair and then work it into the scalp and mainly into the ends. Leave it on for 10 minutes and then rinse out and then continue washing your hair. So I absolutely love this stuff, I've used this twice now and I feel my hair really healthy now it's really weird because these are the longest parts of my hair and they don't feel as bad as they used to and like I had split ends kind of right quite far up and now they are feeling really healthy I'm hoping that like by using this stuff a little bit more it's starting to like enrich my hair and mend my hair a bit more from like years and years of bleaching and dyeing so yes so I'm giving this a thorough go but it is fabulous um, I actually got two on Amazon it was two for 30 pounds or one for 16 um, and it is a hundred ml bottle but you only need like that m much I guess maybe a little bit more if you've got longer hair but you don't really need that much so I think it's a great product so yeah next is an old one that was on my favorites probably the beginning of the year or last year and it's the Balms Mary Luminizer. Now I've fallen back in love with this, um, I haven't used it for a while and oh, I just absolutely love it. I do have it on today though, like up there and down the bridge of my nose but I absolutely love this. I, I mean obsessed with highlights and like having really pigmented ones, love. So I've been starting to use this one again Next, which I don't think has ever been in my favourites, but I absolutely love this stuff, is the Urban Decay B6 Spray. Now, some of this stuff that it says um, that it does, um, I don't necessarily think it works as well. Um, it says that it reduces redness, pore minimises and absorbs oil. Now, I don't really see that it changes any redness and I don't see it reducing my pore size but oil absorption is spot on I, I do use this just before I do my makeup because like I have oily skin when I wash my face and stuff the oil starts to come through and I start to feel kind of tight-faced but greasy at the same time but spraying this bad boy on really like soaks up the oils dries out my face but keeps it moist and then I can apply my makeup and then it goes on quite smooth which I absolutely love so I have I'm loving this this month. Next, again, an oldie but a goodie is the Their Real Mascara from Benefit. This is a sampler. Um, I went on the Good Ship Benefit on the 23rd of April, I believe. Um, I think I might go again 
um, because it's an amazing place. Like the food is superb. I absolutely loved it. Um, drinks, well, I only had Prosecco, so, but that, that was really good. Um, we got to visit downstairs um, in the brow lounge, something like that. Um, and they said about like complimentary makeup and stuff and when we went to pay for our meal they gave us free samples of their real mascara which i was loving so yes but it does book up really quickly it seems like the lash lashitude lounge has still got spaces but the brow bar for afternoon tea doesn't seem to have any spaces at all i've checked um but yeah and you don't have to book, you can go downstairs into the brow lounge extra bit um, and just have like a, a lunch or something like that. So you can just walk in if you want to. But they do have a, like a mini shop as well to get all your goodies. But yes, absolutely love this product. Next is my NYX brow gel. Now I haven't actually got this on today, but every time I do my makeup, I always, always use this guy. Um, stays on all day. Actually, I find it really difficult to wash off. Like some mornings, I wake up and I've still got like a patch of brow gel like there where it hasn't come off. Um, but I absolutely love this. Um, it kind of helps like plan my brow as well and like really gives me that defined brow that I really like and it really does help kind of match my brows more than like trying to do it with a pencil or something like that. And to frame my brows, I learned this kind of technique from a makeup artist from MAC um, and I use a concealer. Now they used a quite thick um, uh, concealer, like one um, of the little pots and you just like sketch out your brow um, but I love using the select cover-up by MAC and mine's in the shade NW15. I find like it's liquidy enough so that I can draw my lines and I don't have to worry about pulling the skin around my eye because obviously when you pull your skin you're eventually going to get wrinkles because of the pulling. Um, so it's liquidy enough that you can sketch out around your brows and slightly blend it out but I like to leave, sketch it out and then wait once I've done that eyebrow, do this eyebrow and then bl start blending out this one because then it's thick enough that it still stays so it's not like moving around. So I absolutely love this product. Next is quite old for me. I think I bought this and never actually used this and um, I decided I wanted to try a different um, eyeliner and went through my collection and found that I hadn't used this one. And it's the Maybelline Mas Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner and it's like an eyeliner felt tip pen. But the nib is a lot more thinner than the one that I always go for, which is the Collection Extreme Felt Liner. Um, but I absolutely love this guy. Um, I haven't got it on today, obviously I haven't got really any eye products on today, but I absolutely love this. It really gives me that sharp flick and I can get it quite close to my lash line so I don't have like a thick line, I have quite a thin one, so I absolutely love this. Finally for beauty products, um, the last thing is a lip balm. Um, now I've been suffering with kind of like drying lips recently, I think it's due to the weather and like hay fever and things like that. So I've been kind of suffering with my lips and I always carry a lip balm if not two. And um, one day I couldn't find my lip balm at all anywhere and I was really suffering and because of some days where the wind is so strong I get wind burn on my lips and then they start to hurt even more and then when they hurt you can't stop licking them so you lick them and it makes it worse so I went into Lush uh, to see if they had any decent lip balms and they gave me a choice of two that they said that they recommended and the one that I decided on was lip service now there is a lot of product in here compared to some of the other ones that I have um, and it's kind of got a lemony scent and this is super super hydrating it's thick but glides on thinly um, but it doesn't feel like cakey it really moisturizes the lips and I feel like my lips stay moisturized for quite a long time even once like the initial 
product has kind of sunk in I feel like it lasts a lot longer than you think it does um, I do like to top up with this I use this in the night as well because I feel like because you can layer it on slightly thicker it really does help so I absolutely love this product I think this is like six pounds um, so yeah so moving on to my randoms or extras um, basically there's no real order in how I do this um, but I have one fashion item and then two TV programs so the first or my fashion item is these jeans now they are just black skinny jeans um, slightly high-waisted but the thing that is amazing to me is that these are the Joni jeans from Topshop now I always see people on Instagram snapchat Facebook YouTube um, Pinterest raving about the Joni jeans and they all everyone that seems to like go for them I feel like are slightly taller than me slightly thinner than me and I'm like I was like I don't know if they're ever gonna fit I don't know if they're gonna look nice they might be horrible but I've fallen in love literally it hugs my body where it needs to usually I buy jeans I don't really buy expensive jeans so these are quite expensive for me um, I usually buy jeans from New Look and I find that if you get them right on the buttock area and the hips, the waist just kind of tree trunks down so you've got loads of gap and they always seem to fall down. Whereas these hug my waist, they hug my hips. I just feel amazing in them and they make me feel a little bit slimmer. I think because there's so much that it kind of comes in and like fits me, it makes me look thinner if that makes any sense like because of the jeans that I usually buy I have to buy to fit my ass um, they usually are baggy everywhere else so I always have that trouble whereas these guys are amazing the only thing that's really confusing is trying to pick your size because it's obviously online they base it on your waist and length um, and for someone who's ever bought only bought like jeans from New Look and Primark, they only do it in sizes. Um, so online I was like super confused. Um, and the length, I have no idea about the length. Um, I got these, they say a size 16, um, but they're a bit long for me. Um, but I don't mind that, I prefer them being slightly longer so that like they don't, I don't feel like I'm gonna shrink them and they're gonna roll up my legs. Um, but yes, I absolutely love these. I mean, if you're unsure about whether they're gonna fit you or not, I would definitely recommend just going in and trying them on um, because literally I looked at them and I was like, I'm not gonna fit these. And then I tried them on and they fitted and I was like, oh my God. And I bought them. And so they're the most expensive pair of jeans I actually own. But I love it. So finally, my two TV programs. Now the first is a bit random. Um, I don't even know how I got into it. I just found it on Netflix and started watching and I was hooked. And what's really annoying now is that I think they're on season eight. So I haven't seen season seven because they've only got season, uh, season two to six on Netflix and that's RuPaul's Drag Race I absolutely love it I'm obsessed like I love how like everyone seems to be like confident and amazing and beautiful and crazy and I absolutely love the show I love the people I love some of like I have like my top drag queens on there that I absolutely love um, I have watched a few episodes like more than once um, but yes I absolutely love the show yeah <laughs> so I've been obsessed with that one and my final TV program and my final favorite of this month is has been Bear Grylls the island now I, we watch this every single year that it's on I think since the beginning um, so it was no wonder that I was gonna watch it anyway but this season has been really like impacting it's really strange because like they've basically they put people on an island and 
They've given them the skills and the tools to survive, but they basically have to do it themselves. They're completely alone. Um, and this year they had a group of women and a group of men and they put them on each end of the island and basically let them get on with it. The women found camp and started fire the first day they were there. The men, however, took a little bit longer <laughs> um, to get there. But they did eventually find each other. And But like there are so many different characters, so many different things that have happened. Um, like people have been hurt, people have been stung. Um, someone had to be flown off the island in emergency. So it has been like a quite a, a jam-packed season this year. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I've been absolutely loving that. So that is it for my April favourites. I'm so sorry that I have been absent for so long, um, but I am starting to get back into the swing of things. Um, I'm starting to plan out my time a bit better. I did a blog post about how I manage my time. Um, but yes, I hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> um, but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more. And leave a comment down below what you think and what have your April favourites been this year? I'll see you in my next video. Bye!